In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create a user registration form in WordPress. Creating a user registration form in WordPress offers a multitude of advantages for a wide range of websites and digital communities. Membership websites can provide exclusive content and services, elevating user experience while fostering a sense of belonging and interaction through comments, forums, and social features to enhance community building. Registered users tend to engage more with content, thereby improving website visibility and SEO ranking. Email marketing campaigns targeting registered users boost customer retention and engagement. Overall, Integrating a user registration form in WordPress enhances engagement, community building, personalization, data management, and security while accommodating diverse website goals and content offerings. So, let's get started. But before we do, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon for more updates from our channel. Now, as you can see, this is my website and I want to add a user registration form to this site. To do so, let's move back, and the first step is to activate Anyone Can Register. So hover over Settings and click on General. You can see the membership here. You need to enable Anyone Can Register first. This will allow visitors to register. Once done, simply scroll down and click on Save Changes. Now users can register on the site. Let's move to the front end and check the changes. You can see this is the regular login page. Now, this login page serves as the entry point not only for existing users, but also as a gateway for new users to register. This WordPress login page is designed to be user-friendly, allowing newcomers to register easily. To kickstart the registration process, users can simply click on the register link. Upon clicking the registration link, users will be redirected to a dedicated page where they can complete the registration process. We're going to learn how to redesign this form in WordPress. Redesigning the form allows you to tailor it to your specific website's needs. You can add or remove fields to collect the information that is most relevant to your site or customize the form's appearance to match your site's branding. To do so, let's move back. Hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Simply search for the ultimate member. From the list of various plugins, this is the plugin that we're looking for. So, simply click on Install Now, and you can see the active installations here. The plugin is also compatible with our version of WordPress. Once the plugin is installed and activated, we're going to configure the plugin. Now, this plugin needs to create various pages like user profiles, accounts, registration, etc. So, simply click on Create Pages. And once the pages are created, you're going to be redirected to the settings page where you can configure this plugin. Here are some page related settings that you can explore. Let me show you all the pages first. Hover over pages and click on all pages. You can see the pages created by the plugins. Viewing the register page, As of now, we're already registered. So let's view the page link in incognito mode. You can see this is how the form will appear when the user goes to register. Now, how do we add the page link? As you can see, this is my site, and I want to add the page link to the header of my site. So for that, we're going to move back. 
and simply hover over the appearance and click on Menus. You can make changes to menu items as per your requirements. I'm simply going to select a few pages created by the plugin and add it to the menu. You can change the position of menu items using drag and drop functionality. Expanding the register menu item, you can select who can see this menu link. Similarly, by expanding the login menu item, you can select who can see this menu link. Each menu link offers various settings over here. Coming next to account, you can select who can see this menu link. Also, it displays other settings as well. You can select the member roles who can see this link. And expanding the logout menu item, set it as per your requirement. Once everything's in place, click on the Save menu. And we'll check the changes from the front end. Upon refreshing the page, you can see that the menu items have been updated over here. You can see the updated menu links over here. And as of now, we're logged in. That's why we can see the logout menu item here. Moving to the incognito mode, you can see the login link here as we're not logged in. Clicking on the login menu item, you can enter credentials and log in. Clicking on the register button here will allow users to register on the page. And the plugin sets everything smoothly. You can visit pages and check them live. If you go to the account link, this is how it's going to appear. Clicking on log out will change the menu items accordingly. Now, where are we going to check the registered users? For that, simply move back to the dashboard. Hover over Users, and click on All Users here. If you're going to click on the Info, you can see the User Detail over here. Moving next to explore various settings that the plugin provides. You can explore general settings on your own. You can also go to the Access tab and explore relative settings. You can enable content restriction settings for post types. And you can enable content restriction settings for taxonomies as well. Once done, click on Save Changes. To check the changes, let's go to Pages and click on All Pages. And we're simply going to edit this page over here.
and you can see the content restriction here. You can simply check the box, decide the restrict content here, and now select who can access this post. You can also select which roles can access this page. Select it as per your requirement. More settings are available over here, like what happens when users without access try to view the page. You can select when users should be redirected. Once everything's in place, click on the Update button. Now let's view the post from the front. This is how the page appears for the login users. Let's check the same in incognito mode to see how it appears for logged out users. You can see the login page here. One needs to log in or register first to view the page content. Let's log in here. And you can now see the page content. This is how amazing this plugin is. Creating a user registration form can enhance user engagement, data collection, and community building on your website. It's a valuable feature, especially if your site's goals involve interaction, content sharing, or delivering premium services to your audience. However, it's essential to balance the benefits of user registration with user privacy and data protection considerations, respecting user consent and compliance with relevant regulations like GDPR. But this is how easy it is to create a user registration form in WordPress using a plugin. Now, before you go, we also have videos on the best Divi tips and tricks, which you can check out and get started with the Divi theme. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.